Hello, what's up? It's me, L.A., pronounced like L.A., like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy, though. It is March 4th, 2021, March 4th, 2021, and welcome to another glorious, nostalgic installment of L.A. TV Presents Counter Blessings. As you know, we have started a Counter Blessings Day Today Challenge, which we will count our blessings for this entire month of March march forward as we thankfully march forward from february black history month as you know in my previous video where i rejoiced in gladness that february was over now we will talk about today and i want to be i'm thankful for malls m-a-l-l -L, not mall from a bear <gasps> mall from like you know the store the mall where you shop at i'm thankful for the mall because it is a whole bunch of shops and plazas mixed together under one roof i like the i should i call it the covered mall what do you call those places i think they're called the square or the market where it's basically a mall but it's all outdoors those are awesome too, but you have to go, my opinion. It's best to go when it's not too hot and it's not a thunderstorm. <laughs> What's the point of shopping for soggy clothes? No, just geez. So I do, I'm thankful for the mall. So we'll keep it at that, the brick and mortar mall. We'll talk about, I know this is racist, you know, Aladdin store, you know, where you shop outside like we're princess jasmine shop you know they had tents and everybody was outside selling stuff necklaces what did the men say uh a lovely necklace for a lovely girl or something you know, princess jasmine and aladdin was shopping by herself idiots picked up apple and gave it to the poor boy and that guy was like I hope you have some money to pay for that she's like what he's like thief he's gonna cut her hand off I'm not talking about that kind of oh baby and I, or, or, or flea market. I'm talking about the mall. I'm thankful for that. Okay, we're two and a half minutes in. Y'all, I have to make sure this video was a little bit over eight minutes. And I have to keep saying the topic over and over because I, I, I might forget. Because there's a lot of things I'm actually thankful for, but the same topic is the mall. Why I like the mall is because, number one, that came first to me in my mind was when I get old, like senior citizen old, I want to be one of the mall walkers. I want to walk in the mall with the old people when I'm like 75, you know, like, hey, girl, good morning, have my power sweats on and listen to mall music or my music and have my 1980s flash dance sweatsuit oh, with the headband and matching wrist things and leg warmers because I can't I'll probably still be small so I'll be able to get all that cute flashy stuff from Claire's from the children's section that's how little I am I can still fit kids clothes and I'm a grown woman. So that should be another video I'm thankful for. Bring, bring it y'all. If y'all gonna be envious of my size, bring it down in the comments. Um, But yeah, the mall is awesome. So I definitely look forward to my golden years because I already have a goal. I can be a mall walker and that's in anywhere around the world because every place has a mall so I can just do, 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 do. And I like the mall because of the food court. Hang on. Product placement. Hope you can't see it. Oh, product placement. It's Coca Cola. Product placement. No, I'm stuck. Hang on. It's not, it's not moving fast up here today. The mall. What I was about to say. Oh, food court. I like the food courts in the mall because it's a variety under one roof. 
you have like pizza, Chinese, Thailand, you have sweets, you know, Taco Bell, you have, you know, you just, it's everything under one roof. So let's just say you don't want to go to the mall to shop, but you and your family want to go out to eat and you don't know what you want. And everybody's not on the same page as far as choosing. We can all load up in the car and go to the mall's food court as a family still, but we're all under the same roof and we're darting into different locations in the food court to get what we want. And once we do that, you know, the problem is solved and then we just, you know, push some tables together in the food court and eat together as a family. So I like that about the mall because there's a lot of clever ways you can engage your family there and, and, and for an inexpensive price you know it's it's different out here now with COVID and if you are conscious of what you're spending with your money you do have to find pleasure in the more simplistic things and the premise of a mall if I've said that word right is a great place for families to just mingle and chill it takes you out of the environment you can be a little loud as opposed to going to a movie theater where you have to be quiet and just look straight ahead and eat. A mall gives you a little more wiggle room. And so you have the food court, you have, you know, mall walkers. Heck, you can do that as a family because it's free. If you go in there in the morning next civil, that's another thing you can do. Um, so, you know, coming from, uh, since I'm a mom, you know, and a wife, Looking at the mall from that type of perspective is why I'm thankful for the mall. You don't necessarily have to shop, but you can utilize the, the space that they offer to exercise, or you can do the food court thing. Or, heck, even on a nice warm day, if you don't want the mall walk inside, you can walk around a portion of the perimeter, or as big as the parking lots are, you can just walk around there as a family. If you just don't want to go to the park or something, you want to just do something different. Or if you don't have that much time, at least, you know, you go utilize their park, walk around there a couple laps, and get back in the car and go. But I think it's a great hub for that. And not only is the mall great, for those things, you get ideas on stuff. If you like our family, huh, man, our family is so creative. So just walking along, not even window shopping, but just as you walk, your eyes just roam through the storefronts as you casually walk, not linger, walk. We get ideas just on that alone from seeing how things are set up with the mannequins or the greeters, when they're out hanging out in the store trying to get you in, we can say hi to them in passing. It's just a nice way to mingle safely if you just want to get and talk to people or just be in the mix a little bit. I like them all for that reason because you'll be able to run into people from all walks of life. Rich, in between, poverty different thinking people and all that they're all in the mall and it's still kind of safe i know they've been bringing violence to the campus at the malls here but still it's a whole lot safer than just randomly going out somewhere trying to mingle with people at least at the mall it's a controlled environment to a certain extent and everyone's together and even if we want to break up and go different places we're still in the building you know, and it's just a great place to mingle. So I'm thankful for the mall for those reasons and for exercise purposes, future retirement plans. Uh, did I say family purposes? Yeah, that. And even if you are by yourself, the mall is still a great place to to just engage and be around people, especially if you don't want to talk too much. But a short high and bye goes a long way. You know, you don't have to necessarily hold a conversation with people, but the mall is a great place because you're going to naturally go past the people and they're going to say hi to get you in the store. And you just be pleasant and say hi, you know, and they say hi back. So sometimes that's all you need, especially during during this um, pandemic here. So that's an um, idea for you people. If you are nervous to get out here still, but you do miss mixing and mingling with people to a little, a certain extent. Just go out to the mall at a time where you feel safe. 
walk a couple laps. You know, maybe if you don't have much money, you know, get you get you a um, drink. Walk around in there until it's done. Say hi to the people at the storefront, of, you know, at the mall and call it a day. But it's better than staying cooped up in the house and you probably touch someone's life just by saying hi to them. So there's a lot of things you can do even if you don't have the money or just don't want to spend the money. So I'm thankful for the malls and what they have to offer and the use of their parking lot. Even though you're not supposed to skateboard in their parking lot, I like that their parking lot is large because they didn't say anything about creating a music video in the parking lot. They didn't say anything about just walking around in the parking lot. You know, parking your car with the fam, eating the sandwich, you know, on the outskirts of the parking lot, watching the cars go by, planes, wherever you decide to go or the mall you just choose to go to. You know, just get creative, people. So this is me, L.A., pronounced like L.A. like the city. I'm not from there, but a breezy, though. Until next time, which will be tomorrow, be sure to count your blessings. Ha-cha-cha. -cha.